Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's lesson, I'll be explaining you about the paragraph text. A paragraph is a section of text containing one or more sentences that express a single idea or a unit of information. Paragraph is usually delimited by a paragraph break. Before I begin, please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get the notifications of my channel updates. So let's get started. Select text tool in the tool palette. Right click and using type tool, just click and drag the cursor to create a text frame. And once you release the mouse, you will see dummy text within the text frame. But you should not type paragraph text like this. You should keep space, which is also called margins around the artboard. Now I'm going to remove this and create a proper text frame for the paragraphs. Leaving some space from the edge of the artboard, click and drag the mouse like this. And once you release the mouse, you will see dummy text within the text frame. To get a proper content for the paragraph, let's go to the browser and search for any content. I type global warming. Okay, so let's click on this link. Yeah, let's select and copy this content. Paste it inside my paragraph text frame. This is my paragraph. To type second paragraph, press enter on your keyboard. Let's keep the next content. Let's select and copy. Just paste it here. For the next paragraph, press enter. Let's select and copy the content. Paste it and enter for the next paragraph. Continue this process once you are done. Now let's check as to how many paragraphs are there in this text frame. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Notice that each paragraphs are not separated with the gap. Wait, let's go to the browser and check the content here and see that each paragraphs are separated with gaps for easier reading. Now I need to create a gap between the paragraphs. To do this, go to Windows menu, type and click on paragraph. The keyboard shortcut is Alt Control T. Paragraph panel window pops up. Go to this option called space before paragraph. Change the value to 15 point. See how the gap is been created between all the paragraph text. If you need to change the font size, go to this option and change the values. Remember, the font size for the paragraph should be minimum 9 point and maximum 12 point. You can change the font from here just like character text. You should not use fancy fonts in paragraph like this. You will notice that the content is not that clear and the readers might face difficulty in reading. Select such a font that is distinctive to prioritize readability and ensuring positive reading experience for the readers. Once we are done with the font selection, now we need to focus on the alignment. If you notice carefully that the left side of the text frame, the content is properly aligned and you notice on the right hand side of the text frame, the alignment of the text flow is not even. To make the site even, we need to go to the paragraph panel. This is called left justify. This is center justify. This right justify and this is justify all lines. I click on left justify, you will notice that all the text flow on my right side are properly aligned to the text frame. Now I click to the center justify. Notice that the last line of each paragraphs are centrally aligned to the text frame. If I click on right justify, the last line of each paragraphs are aligned to the right side of the text frame. But if I click on justify all lines, you will notice that the last line of each paragraph will try to fit from one end to another of the text frame and it looks quite weird. But for now, I would prefer left justification. This looks like a perfect paragraph. If I zoom on this document and focus on my right hand side of the text frame, you will notice that there is hyphens in certain words which might disrupt the flow of the text and make it harder to read. So to remove the hyphens, 
just uncheck this hyphenate option. Okay. Let's continue formatting the paragraphs. This is first line left indent. This will create a gap to the first line of the each paragraphs from the left margin. I enter say 50 point and press enter. See, left gap is created in the first line of each paragraph. If I increase the value to 70 point, the gap increases. Okay, let's set the value back to 50. This is called left indent and this right indent. Say for example, I want the reader to pay attention to this paragraph as it might contain few quotes or a motivational line. Then we use both left and right indent option. Using this tool, select the paragraph that you want to highlight. Now in the paragraph panel, enter the value of 50 point in both the indents. You will notice that the equal gaps are being generated on both the sides of the selected paragraph. To make this paragraph more focused, you can change the font style. You can also change the color. So this is how it looks. Okay, let's bring back the paragraph to normal. Now I want this text frame to be divided into columns. So go to type menu and click on area type options. In the panel window, under column section, change the value to 2. See how the text frame is been divided into 2 columns. If I increase the value to 3, you will see 3 columns. Let's get back to 2. This looks decent. This is gutter. This option with increase or decrease the gap between the columns. If I increase the gutter value, the gap increases. If I reduce the value, the gap spacing decreases. Let's keep the settings to the default value. If you want to remove the column, again go to the type menu and click on area type options. Change the column value to 1. Now I want to place the image in this paragraph. So go to file menu and select place. The keyboard shortcut is Control shift p Browse any images and click on place. You will notice an image icon beside the cursor. Just click and drag to place the image over the paragraph. Once the image has been placed, you will notice blue cross mark over the image. Just click on the embed option. Now. The thing is that the image is overlapping the text. So, select the image and go to object menu. Search for text wrap and click on make. You will see how the text is flowing around the image. Again I go to object menu, text wrap and click on text wrap option. This option will increase or decrease the gaps between the image and the text. If I increase the value, you will notice how text is being shifted away from the image. And if I reduce the value, the text comes closer to the image. Now, wherever I drag the image, the text automatically gets flowed around the image. You need to place the image in the text frame in such a manner that it does not affect the text formatting. If you want to add more images, go to File and click on Place. Browse and click on the place button. Click and drag to place the image over the text frame. Again you will see a cross mark on the image. Click on embed in the option panel. Select the image and go to the object menu. Search for text wrap and click on make. You will see how the text starts flowing around the image. Give proper placement to the image without disturbing the text formatting. If you want to get rid of this text wrap option, go to the object menu under text wrap click release now the text is no longer flowing around the image okay so let's remove these images 
Now I want paragraph within a shape. So using elliptical shape tool, create a circle. Right click on the tab tool and select area tab tool. Bring the cursor over the path and click. You will notice that the paragraph text has been created within a circular path. Let's make another shape, say for instance, polygon. Using area tab tool, bring the cursor over the path and click. Paragraph text is ready within the polygonal shape. Last and not the least, regarding the paragraph tool. If a client gives you some content in word format, Firstly, open Word, select the text and copy the content. In Illustrator, using Tab tool, create a text frame just like this and paste it. You will notice that there's too much of gaps between the paragraph. So select the text. In the paragraph panel, change this value to 0. Notice that here is already a gap being created between the paragraphs. This is because if you check the Word file, there is already a gap between the paragraphs. So we do not need to adjust in Illustrator. Okay. After pasting the entire content from the Word file, you will notice a red icon at the bottom right hand side of the text frame. This indicates that all the content is not visible within this text frame and it's hidden. So to solve this issue, go to the tool palette, select Artboard tool. In the option panel, click on the plus icon to add another artboard. Select the selection tool and click on the red icon on the text frame. After you click, you will notice that a paragraph symbol beside the cursor. Click on the new artboard. See all the hidden texts are now visible. Also you see a line connecting from the first text frame to the second text frame. This means that the text is the continuation from the first text frame. But again, you get to see a red box in the second frame too. So using artboard tool, create a third artboard. Clicking on this plus sign icon. Once the artboard is created, using the selection tool, click on the red icon and click on this new board. Here you go. All the entire content which was copied from the word is now fully visible in Illustrator. So this is what you all have about paragraph text in Illustrator. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll be back again with some more interesting videos very soon. Till then, bye.